The older I become, the more I realize. Legally, when someone is paid to promote or market a product, they're required to disclose that it's a paid promotion. That's why you see hashtags like hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored on social media posts. But there's a catch. If a leaker is unofficially working for the company, are they disclosing it? Probably not. This gray area allows companies to benefit from the hype without ever revealing that they're pulling the strings behind the scenes. And let's be honest, this would be one of the least shady things game companies can do. Don't even get me started on how Apex and Call of Duty uses a system to psychologically entice players to buy in-game items for a better matchmaking experience. That's for another video. I've always wondered, how are they getting fed these leaks? The penalty for leaking shit is insane. In 2020, there was a dude named Ryan Hernandez who leaked the Nintendo Switch before it officially released. He was sentenced to three years in prison and ordered to pay $260,000 in fines to Nintendo. And mind you, this is for a leak that greatly benefited Nintendo. It generated hype and interest for their upcoming product. Who is risking their job to feed these leakers leaks? Companies have security methods in place to ensure that leaks don't happen. And even if they happen, do you really think a gigacorp like EA, Activision, now even bigger with the Microsoft purchase and Epic Games can't find out who the employee is? Be so serious. And some leakers make you think that they're lizard squad level hackers who hack into the mainframe of the company and pull out the leaks and share them to Twitter as a service for the people. Give me a break. You're telling me some random dudes are hacking gigacorps, risking life in prison for some Twitter likes? All right, bro. Companies like EA Activision, Epic Games have officially rebuked leaks in the past, but I think they're talking about actual leaks because explain to me then how someone like Hypex has a creator code on Fortnite. If if you don't know who Hypex is, he's like one of the biggest leakers for Fortnite. His leaks are constantly accurate. How can Epic file lawsuits against some leakers and not the biggest one with 3.4 million followers on Twitter and 1.4 million on YouTube? Here's my theory, and I'm gonna continue to use Hypex as an example. No hate towards him or her, and you can apply this example to all leakers in every gaming community. First of all, there is no official evidence that suggests Hypex has any formal affiliation with Epic Games. Still, his leaks are insanely accurate, and yeah, sure, an argument can be made. These are just data mine leaks. They're already in the game files. But let's be serious for a moment. We all know that leaks generate a stupid amount of hype and simplified the whole purpose of a company is to make money. And when information about a game is leaked, there's good and bad for the company. Sure, it may generate hype, but the outside leaker may end up leaking something that the company doesn't want to be leaked. So why not, instead of leaving it up to chance, how about we control this very successful method of marketing? So what does the company do? They gather their best social media marketers, get them to do research on how to best market with leaks, and Ta-da! A leaking account like Hypex is born, which will never face any legal issues and the so-called leaks will be straight from the source. And I'm sure Hypex has gotten a bunch of leaks wrong, but intentionally leaking wrong information is the best way to keep up this facade that this is just some random 22 year old as it states in his bio. A lot of people are much more willing to follow and keep up with a leaker compared to an official game account. And I can't quite put my finger on why. Me personally, leakers used to give me this feeling of, uh oh, we're not supposed to know this information. How exciting. Do you remember the GTA 6 leak from 2022? Wow. Our first look at GTA 6 came from a leaker. You want me to believe a 17 year old hacker from the UK, bruv, hacked the Mega Giga Supercorp Rockstar Games and leaked GTA 6. This leak, by the way, would end up being the biggest breach in gaming history. Even people who don't know what a controller is were talking about this leak. Again, from a 17 year old in the UK, blood. Mm hmm, okay. Now, officially, this young man who hacked Rockstar got absolutely fried, facing multiple counts, including unauthorized access to computer materials and breaches related to the UK Computer Misuse Act. Funny, the specific penalties were not widely publicized. So guess what that makes me think? Rockstar were getting close to release. Yes, three years is very close for Rockstar. Instead of making a generic tweet, we're busy at work making the next GTA experience for you all. Stay tuned. Nah, fuck all that. They wanted straight 
petrol on the fire. So what I believe happened is simple. They found some random 17 year old who just happened to be a part of a hacking group. They contacted his parents and got everyone to sign NDAs. Of course, Rockstar threw in a little cash for them too. Maybe a little 10K for them and them. Mind you, that would be super cheap compared to buying like a billboard for marketing. And the deal was pretty much, yo bro, leak, leak some of this shit real quick, uh, take the blame and we won't uh, press charges. And you get 10 bands and leaker all right. I don't know any sane person who isn't taking that deal. And when you think about leaks for Call of Duty, isn't it sus that the leaks happen around the same time every year? It's always around July or August. And somehow you want me to believe that supposedly random people who leak are getting access to early builds of the game? You really want me to believe that there are seemingly no security measures in place? Come on, bro. This is not even a conspiracy. It's just obvious truth. Everything that benefits a company is calculated. And oh my God, this reminds me of one of the most obvious undisclosed marketing schemes that work. Remember the AirPod memes around late 2017 to 2018? The meme started shortly after Apple released their first generation of AirPods in December 2016-ish. Apple were so smart and this was one of the things that made me buy them as well at the time. I kept seeing memes of people with these weird earplugs and the memes would poke fun at the stereotypical user of the AirPods. Like if you have this, you were rich or pretentious. They also poked fun at the look, comparing it to toothbrushes or Q-tips. I was in high school at the time. Yeah, I had an iPhone, but I just used the wired ones that came with the box. But it took less than a year for every single person in my high school to buy those meme earplugs. And I believe this was a global occurrence. People just started buying them. This goes to show how powerful undisclosed marketing in the form of memes and leaks can be. And you should be aware, anytime you see someone glazing a company, just know this person is likely getting a bag for it or is a part of the team. The idea of, ooh, look what I found, is so much better for selling in most cases than official marketing. You see this on TikTok as well. Oh, I went to this low cute coffee shop and they gave me the best food I ever had in my life. The chef even came out and gave me a handwritten thank you for eating here and said the sweetest thing to me as I was leaving. May your life be filled with wonder and love. And what's so funny, some people just eat that up. They're like, oh wow, what a magical experience. And I'm sitting over here like, how much did they pay you to make this TikTok? Yeah, you must have caught you a bag, huh? Anyways, if you take anything from this video, it should be. Guys, love yourself. That's all I gotta say. If you look in the mirror and hate yourself, love your self. Yes, you should love yourself now. Yes, you should. Because I do. Guys, make sure to go follow my clips channel in the description. I will be shit posting on there. Let's try to get to our goal of two subscribers before next summer. That is the goal. Appreciate you.